Um, one of the things you have to decide when you go to study uh, sciences at uni, especially if you're at Oxford and Cambridge, is to decide between natural sciences and physics. So at Cambridge, what they do is they do natural sciences. It's basically, in the first year, you select four options. You pick three sciences and you pick one maths option. And you either do biological, physical, or a mixture of both. Most people tend to do one of biological or one of physical. You don't tend to mix them up. So things like the physical ones will be things like physics, uh, chemistry, materials, whereas biology will be uh, evolutionary behavior, pure biology, that kind of thing. So you pick three sciences and you do one math. So if you're doing physics or physical sciences, you tend to do straight maths. And if you're doing biology, you tend to do biological mathematics. And basically, what it means is it allows you to kind of not specialize too soon. So if you're not sure which science you want to do, then it's definitely the way forward because you have to try them all out. And in fact, you can stay broad all the way through three years. You don't have to specialize at any point. But by the time you're in second year, you can specialize in one science and completely drop maths if you really want to. Um, so a lot of people choose it for that reason. But that means you have three lots of labs. You have three labs of three different subjects and you've got maths on top of that. So it's actually as much, it's in a sense you're doing A-levels, if not more A-levels than you were doing before. So you're, you're doing more subjects than you were doing in sixth form. So it can be quite a shock and it is a lot of work. You have to be ready for that. Like some of them are having 32, hour con 32 hours of contact a week, which is an insane amount, seeing as math guys are having about 12. So it, it is a lot of work, but it can be very rewarding because it's only really got to last out the first year. And then you can start to specialize if you want to. And if you really want to, you can stay abroad, which is why you may have picked natural sciences in the first place. But yes, yeah, so you did um, physics at Oxford. So why didn't you do? Uh, it's because at the time I just wanted just to do physics. I was not interested in doing like uh, biological stuff, chemistry stuff, yep. that sort of thing. I just wanted to do physics, physics, just pure, pure physics. But um, one, thing, one thing you learn is that even in physics, there's not going to be everything. Thinking about physics you're gonna like, no, not no. like, especially like everyone who sees optics just no. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, so basically if you wanna do something really intensively, we've got like 25 hours of contact every week, uh, just doing physics, and all your tutorials are gonna be about physics. Mm, no, maybe not for the first year. Uh, first year, like the physics course is more like 70% uh, math, maybe 75% I'd say and the rest is physics. It's like just using that math and physics now, basically right. what you're going to be doing. Especially you're going to be, you're going to get used to using calculus in physics, which is not something you uh, probably used to during A-levels. So a lot, and a lot of the time is going to be uh, focused on, it's not, we're not, we're not going to co cover too much material, but like the problems you're going to do are going to be like very diverse. Um, like the problem is not, you're not expected to complete the, to complete every problem on the problem sheets. Like maybe some tutor, some tutors will tell you to have a go at every question and we'll, we'll say maybe uh, those two questions, have a think about them and then we'll discuss them through uh, the tutorial, that sort of thing. Um, that's a point actually, because some people think if I'm doing natural sciences, I'm gonna come out with a degree that's not really as physics. So say I wanted to specialize in physics in second year, you might think, well, they're going to have done more physics than I would because doing it for three years. But that's not actually how it works. As you were saying, you did mostly maths. Yeah, I did mostly maths. Yeah, so we actually, so I did maths and physics. So I actually covered, the, you covered the entire physics course doing that. And it turns out we actually did very similar courses. So despite the fact that he's doing pure physics and natural scientists would do a range, you still cover the same amount of material. You would just cover it. I suppose you go more into yeah. certain topics. You have longer on each topic yeah. and you do more maths around it. So you, you're not, you, if you choose to specialise in second year and third year, then you will come out with a degree as physics -y, as someone who do physics from the work of. Yeah. Like, um, you're gonna, one thing you're going to get is like, it's, it's going to depend on who does the, the lectures and that sort of thing. Like different lectures have different styles. So some uh, lectures are going to go like, are going to be really focused on, the, on like, physics -y math, right. if that makes sense, and the others are just going to go really pure. But either way, like, you should not be, when, you, when you're when you going to be doing the, like, the physics at Oxford, like, one thing that's going to be stressed out is you should not be really be focusing on the math. Like, the math should be, like, a side, side thing to the physics. Like, um, like, you'll do a physics problem and there's just going to be math, math in it because that's just the language of it. Yeah. But you're not going to be doing stuff like going in, doing any pure math or any... No proofs. Yeah, anything. like, maybe some slight, like, slight derivations proofs and derivations, but not ri not anything rigorous yeah. by, any, by any means, yeah. So that, yeah. Yeah. 